Stick in, crook to sticker. On here, where are you gonna put it? On here? Yeah, on there, yeah, I think. Because it won't stick to that wood, I don't think. So yeah, that would be alright. Alright. Right. Archie's favourite YouTuber, Trucker Tim. Yeah. <laughs> Gosh, dear little do. <laughs> yeah, that truck fest at the weekend, know what truck fest it was. Uh, the Friday, when all the wagons were coming in and that, our Archie camped there the Friday night. And uh, and he rang me up the Friday night, it was fairly late. He says, uh, you'll never guess who's here, Dad. I says, no, Dad, who's there? He says, uh, Trucker Tim's here. I said, oh, is he? Oh, Cush Day. I said, you had a photo with him yet? He says, nah, I haven't had a photo yet with him. No, he says, he's got too many people around him and, and, and that. And I, he says, I don't really fancy asking him. I said, oh yeah, ask him, lad. When people this were, just ask him for a photo. He said, yeah, all right, will do. Anyway, in the morning, rang him in the morning. I said, did you get a photo of Trucker Tim? He says, no, no, I didn't bother asking him. No, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to bother him. I said, oh, all right, lad. Anyway, obviously, I met him there. I was walking around. And then our Archie says, there he is, look, dad. There's Trucker Tim, look. Will you go and ask him, see if I can have a photo with him? He said, yeah, go on, lad. I'll go and ask him. So I asked him. I says, uh, is it all right, my lad, has a photo with you? He says, yeah, of course it is, yeah. So anyway, I had a photo there with him and uh, and was just walking away. And then Trucker Tim says to us, hey, you're on YouTube, aren't you? I said, ah, oh, yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, fix lorries and that on there. You see me on there? He said, yeah, I've seen you on there, yeah. And that's how we got talking. I got talking to him for a bit. Busy man though he was there, he was. Bloody hell, poor lad. He was, he was, he was swamped over with people. <laughs> and that's how it come about, as having this collaboration together. Uh, but you can imagine how arse you, can't you? Because he's like a fucking film star to our arse, you know? He's well chuffed, Archie and his mates. They're well chuffed, they are. Yeah, so that's how it come about having this collaboration. We've just got to have a talk, see what we're going to do together, like. But it should be good, should be interesting, shouldn't it? Wrong wood chopping duty. It's that time of year, isn't it, where it's freezing now, or getting cold at night. And, uh, like, I've got a load of window sills, like, window frames and that in there. I know it's got paint on it, but fuck, I tell you what, it burns warm. And it keeps you warm at night, that's the main thing. Uh, best get chopping, Anna. She wants her party rings. You can have her, wait there. You can normally spot someone that works at a sawmill because normally they've got a few pinkies missing, haven't they? <laughs> hey, they always seem to be missing a few pinkies. You know that split second lapse of concentration and oh, there's a pinky on. Isn't it? Been perhaps doing it 20 years and then all of a sudden, whoop, well, there goes the pinky. A little bit of lapse of concentration. What are you guys? You got a bicky? Look at that. What you got? Two now. She, what, are you having a party? She must be having a party with them party rings. She's having a woodcutting party. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. She's getting prepared for the exciting bit of when we burn them and have a fire at night. I love it, I do. You know, having a fire at night, you know, when it's freezing cold, you put the fire on at night. Oh, it's fucking lovely, isn't it? Put a log burner on at night. Cush day. Nappy change time, isn't it, my girl? Talking about losing fingers, the farmer opposite, that lives opposite, uh, the one with the old... Uh, the old combine and all that lot, all the old gear. He was in his field, uh, greasing his combine up with it and tick over. Uh, and a wagon come in delivering uh, delivering bags to him. And he didn't know it would it'd come in behind him. And, it, and uh, the air dryer blasted off, went Psh! So Nick turned around and had a look where it was. And with that, with him turning around, his fucking fingers got caught in the chain and it nipped his fingers off, like down to the knuckles, about three fingers down to the knuckles. And uh, and the driver, and he says, oh, look at that lot to the driver. Just chop my fingers off a lot. And the driver was about to faint in that, obviously, because Nick's got half, fucking half his fingers missing, uh, with blood coming out. And Nick said to the driver, you best take me to hospital, boy. And the driver looked that pale, pale as a ghost. Nick says, oh, it's all right, lad. I'll drive myself to hospital. <laughs> 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 fucking hell, rubber job in it, eh? That should keep us warm for a bit, my gal, shouldn't it? Her mucky face. Eh? 
It's dear though now, isn't it? You know, if you had to go and buy it out, this wood, I had to buy it the other year and freaking hell, I couldn't believe how much it is. It's freaking extortionate, it is. Just to keep fucking warm in the day. Yeah, you know, if you're burning that in the day and all, that won't last long, you know, all that won't. I know it looks like a lot of wood, but you can soon burn through it. If you're burning it all day and night, Jesus, you can soon burn through some. Go on, let's get you washed up, mate, yeah. Watch out, she's gonna blow. Told ya. There she blows. Shoot him, pull, crack a jack, take off now, don't look back, but hey. Looks to me as though it's a right hand thread. By that little manky bit of thread, I can see. <laughs> Will it come undone? Fuck it out, really? Oh my god. <laughs> I've had these too easy lately, you know. Oh, I never thought that this day to this. I'm not complaining. That's your part. Hey, I'm my princess. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> Naughty daddy. Got a little helper, aren't we now? Oh. A little helper, aren't you? Right, it's the next day now. I'm, uh, I couldn't get a lot done yesterday because obviously I had a birdie. I'm on my it for a bit, but. You know when you've got kids, you can't get a lot done, can you? Full-time job, isn't it, these kids? Uh, so I'm going to get cracked on with it now. I've got loads of jobs due to it. Caliper, loads of jobs. Spring eye bushes. I noticed there's oil leak on it and all. I've got to sort out. I'm just putting it in the middle of the yard, so I've actually got hard standing to go on, instead of fucking rubbling around in that sand. I didn't think the front spring eye bushes were like that. Alright, let's get cracked up. Fresh out my dog. And roll balls ain't the best either. Roll ball bushes. Oh, there you go, innit? Can you see that filter? He said it's that bad. <laughs> it's not good. That filter don't look good mate, it's not the best filter I've seen. 
one of the subscribers give me this tool, it's good and he uses them on the steel job. Told by the podger at the end, can't you? Yeah, no, don't fucking tell me. You need a whacking spanner for that, Chris. I fucking know, I know. Thing is with me, I'm a make doer. I just make do with what I've got. I had to laugh yesterday, last night, one of the comments, one of the lads on the comments said, Chris, I'm surprised you ain't got a workshop now uh, to work in, like, obviously because of the weather. And one of the lads on the comments replied to him, he says, he has got a workshop and it's bigger than most people's workshop. It's called the Great Outdoors. <laughs> My missus, I was there giggling like fuck I was. I told her what I was laughing at and she said, that's not even funny, Chris. It is, babe. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> the Great Outdoors Workshop. Lovely. Lovely, darling. I need to get a coat on because I'm getting wet. The rain is a coming. The rain is a coming. Yeah, end of this week, uh, we're off to Turkey we are. I'm taking our mum and dad and all. It's the first time uh, I've ever been abroad with our mum and dad. And the reason why we're going there uh, is because I've treated him to it because you know from this YouTube obviously I get paid off YouTube. Uh, once got monetized at a thousand subs, the, the, the pay you a percentage of your uh, income off the advert. You know the advert that you watch at the start, middle and end? We get percentage of that. I mean mine's not a lot compared to some of people obviously because people have said to me in the past, Chris, you know if you didn't swear out on your on your videos, you'd get more uh, more money from the adverts. But I couldn't give a fuck about that, really. <laughs> because I'm not being a fucking fake person, am I? Just for the sake of getting a little bit more coinage in off the fucking adverts. I didn't do it for that from the start anyway, for money, obviously. I just did it to fucking show people how to go up. But obviously we do get a bit of income for it. So that money that I get from YouTube, I've saved it up and I'm taking everyone away uh, to Turkey. So it's thanks to you guys, we're all going away and having a family holiday because you're the ones that paid for it because you watch my channel and uh, and you watch my videos and that pays me income. So thank you very much guys. I know I'm not one of these fucking usual, I'm not, I don't even class myself as a fucking YouTuber to tell you the truth. I'm a mechanic at the start, that's what I am. But obviously uh, I don't do all this spiel do about all oh, like and subscribe and all this stuff. I could get more, you know, I could push it kind of, but I don't do it for that fucking reason anyway. You either watch me or don't fucking watch me, innit? That's the way I see it. I'm not being a fake person trying to fucking cover up hope. Fuck that. I'm not into that shit. You can't change the way you talk anyway, can you? Or the way you act, surely. What would you fucking want to? Hey? Oh, back of that. I was running short of back and I found more. Bloody good show. Yeah, so thank you guys for watching. And thank you for all your comments and all that lot. I do like reading the comments. Obviously, we've got a vast array of people uh, on this channel that comment and that. From the mechanic to, obviously, the person sat behind the desk on a computer, to plumbers, to all sorts of fucking people in, in all kinds of trade. Because we've got one thing in common. That's we all fucking struggle, don't we? Yeah, we do. I've got to struggle out in this rain now. Come on. Fucking hell. Oh.
Right, full break up. 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 All right, and. Run out of freaking air then. It's like we're back in the olden days when we didn't have air guns. Hard work, innit? No, them bushes aren't right. I need to ring them now. I'm just waiting for a phone call back, but yeah, they're wraparound ones, but they're not right. These Ivecos have two halves, what you put in both sides. So, buggered now, innit? Part struggle. Got a breakdown on that. Uh, the lad that sent me the picture, that filter earlier, it's changed the fuel filter. I thought it was on a crane, it was. It's changed the fuel filter on it. It's bled it all up. It's drove it all the way to the fuel garage and now it can't get it started again. Oh, fuck me. And I can't get started because I've got a flat battery. Freaking hell. <laughs> Never rains, does it? Freaking pause, doesn't it? Oh. Because I've left an ignition on, on these Ivecos, if you leave the ignition on, it puts the front driving lights on at the front and it drains the battery in no time. Bloody job. It's because it likes to make everything a struggle. <laughs> I'm waiting for them bushes anyway. Uh, they're delivering them bushes out, so. And I may as well go and get some fuel while he's put down at a fuel garage, aren't I? Let's go see what the model is. Here's the crane op uh, operator. Look, I showed him your filter earlier. You know your fuel filter, what you took out? Yeah. I showed him the picture, what you showed me. It was, it was galled up, wasn't it? <laughs> You've had about enough for today, haven't you? <laughs> All they want to do is change some filters. Look, it's still fucking manky, the diesel, look. That's come out the new filter. Because it's all in his pipes and that. But I'll go up there and prime it, shall I? Yeah. I feel like I'm on one of them films like James Bond or something. Krypton factor. <laughs> the, older, the older generation. Yeah, Krypton factor, that's it. See, it was leaking out that clear bit at the bottom. Yeah, was it? it? Seems to be not leaking now. I think maybe the seal one in right. Yeah, was it just not seated right? Is this the only filter on it? I don't know. I bet there'll be another one somewhere, you know. But where? Near the fuel tank. Where's the fuel tank? The back. Is it? Yeah. Turn her over, Joe. Turn her over. Uh, yeah, that's what I do and all. Uh, <laughs> is it? Happy birthday, Joe. Just so you can see if it's got another inline fucking fuel filter to it somewhere. You've cleaned this out today, Joe, haven't you? Yeah. It out. There's the fuel parts, look. Perhaps not then, Joe. Perhaps it's only got that one. 
We're revving a lot. No, I don't think that'll be on it. Happy birthday to you! <laughs> You'll be alright, Joe. Try it in the morning. If it don't start in the morning, don't ring me. <laughs> Killing two birds with one stone, this is called. Poor old Joe. Hopefully them bushes will uh, be there at the yard when I get back. I'm hoping. Oh yeah, I just thought it stopped me van, didn't I? Oh, that was dodgy, Chris. I wonder if old Partick's been yet. I would guess no. Yeah, Joe on that crane, on that filter, he screwed the bottom bowl on. Uh, but he said it was leaking out of it a bit, so obviously the seal wasn't quite seated right. So he removed the bottom bowl again, seated it, uh, and primed it again. So, uh, yeah, it is one of the things, isn't it? Poor old lad. Never mind, Joe. It happens to us all, I'm afraid. It's called the struggle, isn't it? Mm. We all have it. The bloody struggle. I best take these bushes out, aren't I? I won't want to bother taking them out in case the fucking can't get them, but I've got to do something. Now I've got my fuel for me compressor. Yay! Beautiful. <laughs> I like it when a plan comes together. <laughs> a team. We're more like C team. Or D team. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Take your bushes out. Because you're, you're on the pressure. <laughs> Normally, guys, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'm really good at driving. Honestly. <laughs> I don't know why, I just didn't feel this straight direct at the pump. Oh yeah, I do know why, because I'm a silly man. That's why. I thought they was captive, but obviously not. Now do you on side, then lift it up on the uh, rams, and then uh, it should pop them out. Ow. Vibration white finger, that. Right, I'll lift the hydraulics up. How's that tickle you fancy? Hey? Anyone would think I'd done this before, you know? Just a few times. All right, I'm not.
I tell you what, we could have time that any better, could we? They look better, look. <laughs> That's them. We've got them. Now we do the other side. Nicely sandwiched that. Put a bit of anti-struggle grease on these bolts for next time. In about, I don't know, six weeks time, they'll be out again. Ha! Constant work, innit? Push a little bit. They're easy, we've got the jacks at the back, haven't they? Got them front ends to do now, they're going to be a bit more awkward. I've just had my tea. Uh, dark now, it gets dark quick, doesn't it? Frickin' out, all of a sudden it's dark. Uh, I need a low jack, look. My little Iveco jack is not quite low enough to get between the spring and the chassis. So I've just had a ring round. And I think I might be able to get one there. Uh, well, a bit tomorrow now, won't it? Suck this off now. Like, right, going too dark, innit? I'm not fighting the dark as well. Right, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow. 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 Yeah, tomorrow, yeah. I'll sink it. I'm not going away on there tomorrow now. I'm not going away tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow. See you later, guys. Have a good week. Woohoo! The holidays are coming. The holidays are coming. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm looking forward to it, yeah. I don't normally like flying going away like abroad because it's it's a bit of a chore, isn't it? You know, with the kids going more going in there, waiting and all that lot. But I'm looking forward to it. Be nice, won't it? A bit of hot weather. Woohoo! Cut the little deal. Let's pack away instead. I'll pack these tools away instead. You mind talking about holidays when I've got tools to pack away? We're not on holiday yet, are we? <laughs> We're bloody not.